All right, woke up this morning in Twitter with they hypocritical Gucci wearing asses was ripping Kerry Hilson. Um, and I kind of can see where they coming from, but let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And I put it on the screen. She basically said that, you know, taking Trump's freedom of, freedom of speech is basically a step to taking away our freedom of speech and, being, and, spe and censoring us. And low key, that's already started to happen. And basically said, if you could, you could take away the free speech of the, the leader of the free world, then slowly but surely they're going to be taking away our free speech. So let's talk about it. Check out our current news playlist for more videos like this. And it's hard to go against Miss Carrie Hilson because she fired in the mug. But I see where people are coming from. But people be killing me. They be saying, oh, Black Lives Matter with a Gucci belt on. Like I said before, I ain't with that Black Lives Matter shit. I, 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 would it Black Lives Matter? Just the, 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 the three words together? I'm with it. I, I agree. But the whole meaning of it and the propaganda movement of it, I'm not with it. Tramping down. But a lot of people be kind of scream, oh, we need justice and we need peace and people need to respect us. But we'll tell, we'll stop telling, tell Devontae to stop trying to kill Timmy up the street. Black people got to get themselves together. A lot of people ain't going to like what I say, but it's true. I'm tired of hearing people scream. And, but then again, they go wear Gucci and they go wear uh, Montclair and all these other different designers that's, that's, that's ripping us and that's using us, you know, basically to, to get the youth and other people and other ethnic groups to buy their, uh, to buy their clothing and their apparel. But then again, you niggas don't want to support black people at all. So I don't really care what people say. Well, you can't tell people what to wear. Well, then stop, stop trying to be, uh, trying to, you know, oh, uh, you all got, you know, we got to stop killing us in the street. And, and, and so I ain't trying to hear that crap at all. Not trying to hear somebody try to be, you know, pro-black or, or, or try to get political and don't even know the meaning of it. Don't, don't, don't even care about it. To be real, people just doing something to, you don't even, I'm telling you, dog. Black people get on my nerves. No, no, let me phrase Niggas get on my nerves with that shit. Well, we matter too, and we'll stop killing each other then. Stop robbing each other. Y'all don't go out to the suburbs. Y'all don't go rob them white people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't go out to the suburbs and try and pull that shit out there. Killing me. And then all these people, after what Gucci said, they still rocking Gucci and wearing it. And then these niggas can't even afford it. How you on food stamps? Or you selling pussy for 40 $50 and you wearing Gucci? Like I said before, man, I ain't got no love for, for this climate of niggas or black people in general. Because everything literally bad that happened in my life, robbed, people gun at gunpoint, it been niggas. <laughs> Real talk, it's been black people. So that's why, I mean, at the end of the day, I had to sit back and look at it. Y'all love my people and all that. Really, I don't, to be honest. Because y'all niggas out here, man, I'm good. But I love the good, genuine black people out here, man. But they too few, far in between. But... Like I said, they always trying to rip each other. Oh, you know, but then again, it's some truth into what she's saying. You know, she's defending Trump, but then more black men, the men uh, voted for Trump than the first time around. That is an actual fact. Okay. Um, oh, she, she's trying to defend Trump. No, listen to what she's saying. If they can take his freedom of speech, what you going to think they're going to start to do to everybody else? And it's true. Look at YouTube. And if you got, if they, they deem your thing, if they deem what you saying in your video, your channel, conspiracy channel, even though it's facts and you supporting it with facts, they, they're going to stop. They're going to whitelist your channel or blacklist your channel and, and read the law. Read. Look at you. Look at Facebook. It's a straight censorship. If you got two thousand, look, look, let's say you got 20,000 uh, people that like your like page on Facebook. If you put a post out, all 20,000 people are not going to get that post. That algorithm de uh, decides who gets your post, who sees your post, who's able to interact on your post. So maybe... 2,000 or 3,000 people are able to see your post on you on Facebook. That's censorship. Why, why do your algorithm only let, t and even if you got a post on Facebook, you got 4,000 friends and only 800 or 900 or 1,000 of your friends see your post, probably not even that. That's censorship. Why when I put out a post or when I put up a video or whatever I put up, a picture, why don't 10,000 or 20,000 or, 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 um, uh, all 4,000 of my, my people see it without it being shared by another person. And that's just the God honest truth. It's the truth. So like I said, censorship has already been going on. All right. And they shouldn't be able to take Donald Trump off of Twitter. I agree with her. You know what I'm saying? He got freedom of speech to say what he said. Long as he's not breaking no community guidelines, but 
now they putting in this false information thing on. So if you pushing false information, they trying to get this fake news stuff out. But, um, you know, that's just the beginning of people problems on Facebook. It's certain things that you can or can't say on Facebook and they'll block you for it. They'll block you on Twitter for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of inconsistencies, but I mean, people know what fake news is and what not fake news is because if somebody say, well, Donald Trump, you know, is, uh, you know, he wants to appeal and he becoming, you know, uh, Joe Biden is not the president. He got the recount and all that stuff. Look, common sense say this. If you, if it ain't trending, they sent to your phone, you put Donald Trump in and Google and you don't see no story on it. It's fake. You know, you can tell by the sources. If you come from CNN or wherever it come from, you can see by the sources. So people know what fake news is and what real news is. You know, and, and, and with Carrie Houston or ripping Carrie Houston, like I said, people hypocrites. Well, she she said is a valid point. She just, you know, obviously people, oh, I hate Trump and this, that, and the third, and we can't stand Trump. And I mean, nobody likes Trump. But his supporters and his closet supporters. And um, but I get what she's saying though. She might have used the wrong example in a lot of people's opinion, but I get what she's saying and they already starting to do that. She a little bit on the late freight. They're already starting to censor people and uh, get only seeing people, yo, certain posts. And, you know, it's been going on like that. If you talk to black, you know, on certain on certain platforms, they've been they've been not letting your people, your notifications get out. <laughs> Excuse me. They've been not letting your videos get out. They've been they've been doing all of that. That's why it's best to build your own platform, your own website. Learn how to embed your own videos on your website and do it that way. You know, these dudes mean. Be quiet. Stop being mean. I mean, these are some mean dogs. Stop. I mean, that cat, he, he growling at to beat his ass. Let me see if Mr. Cat still. Yeah, two of them, too. That was one. If I let him out put on video, what are you going to He might get Mr. Cat. I don't know. Mr. Cat got some weight on him, bro. I go get his brother. Come on, get down. Come on, chill, chill, chill. There you go. He ain't trained like my other dog yet. He getting there, though. He getting there. But, you know, I mean, people just, and then, and then people brought up, I forget what she said. She said something that uh 5G is causing COVID. And, you know, I mean, she got a, she got a right to say what she want to say. Um, Do I believe that in particular? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't really believe it. But in my opinion, man, they are censoring people in the black and they blocked him off every social media pine, pine track. And what's so funny about, it, you know, and I, I meant to say this too. What's so funny about it is a lot of them companies that blocked him or that banned him or a lot of people that own him, a lot, they supported him. They voted for him. They probably gave him some campaign money. Real talk. A lot of them people that these CEOs and stuff that own these platforms probably voted for him. Because remember, they're Republicans and they get all the tax breaks and all of a sudden they drop. They ready to draw the line after all the stupid shit he didn't said off out of four years. The last four four years, all all the stupid stuff he didn't said. His whole campaign, he was saying the same stuff that he's saying now. It just manifested a lot. But this same pro stuff that he pushing, why weren't they blocking him when he first got in office? In the middle of his term, his his second year, his third year. Why did they wait till the fourth year after he get put out of office to really see that he delusional? He been pushing the same stuff. Why wasn't he blocked during his election campaign? He was pushing racism then. So don't get out here. Oh, he just went too far and, and he couldn't take his L like a man. I'm not trying to hear that because he the same dude that he was when he was running for to be the Republican representative. He was the same dude when he was running for president. This was the same exact guy. The same exact guy. Now, you want to say, oh, I just voted for him because I didn't want Hillary and her history, Hillary and her uh, and her being racist and she a closet racist. That's the one time that these these people, you know, since Joe Biden been running, this only time they ain't have a problem with closet racism. Because when Hillary was running, ain't nobody had a problem with closet racism. Everybody, I mean, every, you know, ain't, you know, if they had a problem, oh, she did this and she did that and and. and her, uh, she, they was cool with Bin Laden, and, and and they did. They locked more black men up, which was true with Hillary. So a lot of Americans went to face car racism, and what face car racism is is blatant racism with Donald Trump. But when it came to Joe Biden, 
when he was a closet racist, which he is, when he was a closet racist, okay, everybody, oh, we got to forgive him, and uh, we got to show love, he's a changed man, and, and this, that, and the third, I'll get out of here, man, get out of here, man, I'm telling you, dude, how inconsistent people live, Donald Trump was the same dude from day one till now, but uh, let me know what you guys think, don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request. All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Uh, we also got a Facebook group. Want to check that out? Want to make a financial donation? Cash App, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description as well. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time. We gone.